If you go out of a lane, and it was CBS, not NBC, that interfered. Maybe a penalty. Let's find out about it. Folks, I think you all know who this man is. You've seen the emotional frenzy on the sidelines, the shock of hair being rumpled by the right hand, the utter despair registered with the officials. John Matt, the past coach of the Super Bowl champion Oakland Raiders. He's our commissioner for the Battle of the Network Stars competition. We've just had the official results in the kayak competition, John. Whom did you penalize? Uh, CBS for interference. You see, they can... Uh, get out of the lanes as long as they don't interfere and there was some movement across the lanes by both NBC and CBS and then CBS interfered with NBC so the penalty was a five-second penalty but even in the face of that NBC finished last CBS second and ABC ABC was first okay. you're doing a good job <laughs> no problems it's with good, this job good, good. officiating is an easy job <laughs> First time John Madden never said that. Now, right there, that's where Richard Hatch broke his oar. And the quick problem of what to do with the CBS boat coming in toward the finish line. Somehow Dick, who is a fine athlete, held himself together and kept his emotions in check. Finally, was able to back the boat in for the victory. Yet, that broken oar raised some questions. And just to finish off the kayak competition, Billy you know Chris. Not, I don't want to complain. I don't want to sound like a professional wrestler, but this has been tampered with. I want the uh, WKA, which is the World Kayak Association, to investigate Bob Conrad. There are teeth marks on these things. And I'm going to talk to the commissioner about this, Howard. Well, all right, just a minute. Here's Commissioner Madden. Uh, Madden? Oh, this, what, this. what is your view of this complaint, John? Well, ABC won with that paddle, and I think that uh, uh, it worked out pretty well today. Okay, but I just want you to be aware that there's devious things happening in this uh, in this event, Howard. With uh, Conrad and Devane, he's wearing a beard, he's in, something's happening. I don't know what it is, but it's weird. <laughs> well, there's our scorekeeper, and, and there is Todd Bridges, who will be in the first preliminary. He represents, of course, NBC. He'll be in lean one. And this little fella should be very good on the obstacle course, judging by the way he looked in the workouts. His opponent will be Leith Garrett. We've already characterized him as a good athlete, and he's proved that fact during the course of the competition, representing CBS in lane two. And we're about ready for the first preliminary of the challenging obstacle course. Hunters ready. And they go. And look at little Todd Bridges go under the nets. Now the tires. And Leaf Garrett falls. Handling the monkey bars well is Todd Bridges, but Leaf Garrett gains some there. Now here's the problem for Todd. He has to go over the high wall and he can't master it. He's too small. A clean go over the water trap for Leif Garrett. And Leif Garrett, the easy winner. A time of 21.20 to 26.70 for Bridges. Hey, listen, if you compose the main thing is when you get over the water hole. Run as fast as you can because you got to hit to that finish line. What happened okay. late okay. slowed up a little bit, forgetting that you had to you pick up seconds that way, even after you get over, get over the water hole. Okay. Okay. Good luck. It's great at advice, that Jamie Fall, but you don't see him in the event. Okay, Susan, no matter what happens, just finish the race. If you trip or anything, don't worry. Just think of it as another eight is enough show. No matter how all that energy you use right. in the pile of eight is enough, this is eight is enough. Go okay. ahead. Go get him. So that's the way Dick Van Patten fires up his team. Kathy Bach of CBS against Suzanne Richardson of ABC. They're running against the clock and about ready to go. There they go. Susie Richardson getting under the nets easily. Kathy Bach trying the roll, didn't do it as well. On the tires again, Kathy Bach in trouble. Misses, has to go back to avoid a penalty. Suzanne Richardson on the monkey bar is doing very well indeed. Now she gets to the wall. She only has to go over the low wall. That's the case for women. Kathy Bach trailing her and having a terrible time. Susie negotiates the water trap. And Kathy Bach is way behind her. 
Kathy Bach in the 34.30. Susie Richardson, 28.30. Oh, sure. A woman can touch great. Here's your ring. You like did that. great. Congratulations, Susie. Good work. Thank you.